Hi, my name is Jacob Rockwitz. This is a demo of the jQuery UI filter module for Drupal 8. And this module simply converts static HTML markup into jQuery UI accordion and tabs widgets. Um, it, it uses text formats. I'm going to go enable. The module's already been enabled. I'm going to enable the jQuery UI filter on the full HTML format. Scroll down. Here it is. Uh, jQuery UI accordion and tabs widgets. Let me check it off and let's scroll down. And you'll see there's no specific settings for each in each text format's implementation. There are global settings, and I'll show you those after I save it. Um, they're right under content authoring. You click over. And this UI is bait is very simple. It's just name value pairs that you can enter and it's actual YAML. And this is a big change from the D6 and D7 implementation of this module, which had a much more complex UI. And what I ran into was, as people were upgrading versions of jQuery UI, these options were changing that they were applying, and it was creating problems for them where they weren't getting the right behaviors. This simplified UI makes it possible for future versions of jQuery UI to change some options, and site builders can just enter those options in, or even start entering custom options, which is what I'm, I'm doing here. I have only five custom options for the module right now. One is the header type tag. What is what header tag is going to get converted to an accordion panel and or a tab, which is down here. And then there's another one called scroll to, which just means if there's a bookmark accordion panel or tab, it will scroll to that on the page and open it. Um, this is the duration, how fast it takes to scroll to it. And then there's just an offset in case you have some sort of floating toolbar at the top. Auto actually calculates the padding and margins at the top of your page. And finally, there's a media type. And this just ships with the default behavior that you do not want to print your accordion or tabs widgets out. You want your users to get the full HTML with each panel or tab being displayed with the headers. Um, let's go build one. I'm going to click over and add content and go to a basic page. It's a jQuery UI filter. I'm going to switch over the text format to full HTML. And I'm going to switch over to source because I have some source code that actually ships with the module that I use for some testing. And I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to just show you what it, it renders as. And it's really just header threes with, with HTML. And they're wrapped in tokens. So there's an opening accordion token and a closing accordion token. And the same thing applies to tabs. Now I'm going to hit save and publish and we can look at the result. And now we have an accordion widget and a tab widget. I'll show you the tab widget. And these links just allow you to actually trigger the bookmarking of a tab. I'm switching between these two, three tabs up here. Um, that is pretty much the module. The only other aspect I want to demo about it is the token actually supports attributes. And what attributes are options. It's basically you can enter in attributes and they get passed into the jQuery UI accordion as the options. Right now I'm setting some default sensible options, which is I personally like my accordions to be collapsed. When, they, when the page loads, they're always collapsed. And the way you do that in jQuery UI is you have to say they're collapsible and turn off the default active panel. And now if I remove this, these attributes, you're going to see the behavior is actually going to change. And there you go. And that that is pretty much the demo of the module. Um, a couple of quick takeaways is, so from the D6 to D7 version, this was completely rebuilt where all the behavior that you're seeing here of converting the header tags is done on the client side via JavaScript. Um, and that's, that's it. I thank you for your time. I hope people enjoy using the module and take care.